Okay, guys. I have some news. I am kind of mad. So, there are people out there that make profit off of making fake Pokemon cards. And, as you can see, I was just watching my video going over my Generation 1 Pokemon cards. And that got, that got me wanting to go through my Pokemon binder and have a look at my Generation 6 Pokemon cards. I take a look at my Generation 6 Pokemon cards and I decided to take out my Zubat for an example of the difference that you know it's fake. Okay. Here, this is what, okay, I'm going to show you guys now. Okay, so here we have the real card, the Zubat, and here we have the fake card. First of all, look at the real card. Uh, take a close look at the font of Zubat's name, and take a look at the Psychic Type logo. In the font on the HP. Now, look at the fake card. Oh yeah, also take compare the two... Wait. Okay, I'll show you a different card for the basic logo. But, um... First of all, for the font, I'm gonna point out that... The Pumpkaboo name is a little bit bigger... Uh, like the letters are a little bit bigger than Zubats, and also, you can tell it's fake, compare the Psychic type logos, like, the, the shade, here, let me turn off the light, the, um, the, ver the variant of purple, actually, no, on the fake card, it looks more pink than purple, so, Okay, I, okay, I'll be right back, I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get this form of basic Pokemon out of my book real quick. Look at Pumpkaboo's card, look at the word basic. You can tell that just by the shading in the font that this is fake. And is there any other differences um oh there's a tiny difference in the um move font bubble beam confuse ray first of all you again pumpkin boost font is um a little bit bigger than bubble beam and also ball also ball what <laughs> also check how bendy this is and then compare it to remarade yeah well hang on yeah it is the small oh yeah and look at the back this is pumpkaboo remarade pumpkaboo remarade so What I am going to do, well, hang on, okay, these two cards are normal, the font looks, or the font and their names look the same, the font and the HP looks the same, the font and the, um, moves are the same, and the backs are the same. See? Okay. So. What I'm going to do to this card. I'm going to rip it. Because that's going to show that it's just wrong to make fake Pokemon. Well, it's not going to show that, but 
It's going to show my opinion on that it's just wrong to make po uh, fake Pokemon cards. So, goodbye, highly, fa most definitely fake Pokemon card. It, why do people do this? Oh yeah, one more thing. Look at the font and the information. Number 41, Bat Pokemon. Number 710, Pumpkin Pokemon. You can, okay, the darkness, or like the shading, again. And then the font, again. You automatically know this is a fake card. So. I'm gonna be so mad if this was not a fake card. But I'm pretty sure it is. And the way I can tell is if... I'm not gonna tell how I can tell. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's see. Uh, yep, that was a fake card. So guys, um, I guess the lesson of this video is... If you're thinking about making fake Pokemon cards, don't. It's just wrong. And if someone finds out that they're fake, this is most likely the result of what's going to happen to it. And you just got paid for ripping off something that's not yours. So, uh, just don't, don't. Just don't make fake Pokemon cards. This is messed up. Don't. Don't. Okay? Look, I'm- I know that's most likely not gonna stop anyone, but I'm just telling you guys that's wrong. And if anyone- okay. If anyone decides to listen to what I'm saying and- not make fake Pokemon cards, then thank you. But, um, people who still make fake Pokemon cards, just give up. Don't. Don't make fake Pokemon cards.